people in Lebanon didn't know how much they really wanted art and culture and like the different like perspectives of art and lots of bright color but like hearing the responses like whether it be on Facebook social media personally people have pulled over to like on the side of this very busy road to like talk to me I'm like we love it people honk they slow down here give me thumbs up like and not that it's for me but it's like that's the response that this art is bringing out in them that they are so excited about it, and they actually do like it and they're I think they're surprised and how much they like it. Most muralists that I know, they're like, the beginning's always like, it's not very nice. Like in the middle, you're just like, I'm tired, I'm done. I don't wanna do it anymore. And then you're like, you tough through it and you're like, yes, this is what I wanted. The buzz is happening. The beautification of things, like people have said, this has been a boring bridge and now it's not boring anymore. Like it's no different than why you hang a piece of art up in your home like that you bought it for 40 bucks at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Something about it was appealing. And you said, this might look good in my home. And then you put it in your home and you realize like, oh, it changed the room. It changed the environment. Like, I like to stare at that piece. And um, that's the whole, the, the purpose of art is to affect the environment that is, it's inserted in. And I think for just regular citizens of Lebanon, like this affects them, obviously, as is even happening. Art's a little bit explainable. You don't know exactly why. It gives you the feeling it does, but you just know it does. <laughs> so, but I think that's what it's good for, for, for anybody, really. Artists, non-artists, that it just provides a feeling that you didn't know you wanted.